Hey, this is Ihab. I bring human artists good news today. Edit Belai is a concept artist with an amazing resume. And just today, she has posted something that is quite remarkable in my opinion. It's a watermark generator for AI. And apparently, the way it works is brilliantly simple. So, first of all, some information about that that she has written on the... Uh, Instagram post here. AI generators use a Python library to embed invisible watermark on the generated images. So the watermark is inside the image. However, it's not visible to the human eye. And I'll show you an example very soon. So when you apply the watermark, it doesn't butcher the visual look of it. So for us, when we are observing something, that image with the watermark tends to look disgusting, especially I'm familiar with the ones from Deviant Art, for instance, where you cannot even look at the art. The brilliance of this watermark is that it is only identifiable by AI. And the way it works, I'll show you, I'll show you how it works. So you can, you can really understand what I mean by that. She wrote here, the algorithms will decompose an image into different frequency bands, sub bands, these subbands are then used to identify the areas in the image where the watermark can be embedded effectively. The purpose of this watermark is for filtering out AI generated images in the future to avoid them being used in training new AI models. We created this watermark generator in order to protect our future artwork. AI generated images preferably are avoided to be included in the dataset as well in AI training because human-made images or photos are more beneficial for deep learning. This generator puts the exact same watermark that they use. Thus, it will create a shield against theft. If the AI bot comes across um, our images while scraping online, they will recognize the watermark and mistake the image for another AI generated image. And the artwork will not be usable because the watermark image cannot be distinguished from AI generated images. So basically, it's fooling the AI scraping process. So it gives your artwork the stamp of AI watermark as if it was generated by another AI and also watermarked. This is going to prevent new or other AI processes from scraping it. This app runs on Windows, so they already have the Windows version and they are working on the Mac version. What's gonna happen is that as soon as you uh, run the watermarker, it's going to make a copy of your artwork with this suffix of WM meaning watermarked and the downloaded version of this is on edits link tree. So going to edits profile, you can see here in the link tree, you click and you can see here some interesting links about uh, edit, but this is the one that she has created on a Google drive. So you go there and you download it. And once you download it, this is the zipped file. This is the zipped file that you download from the Google Drive. And then upon extracting it, this is what you get. These are the content of the folder. So you can see here the requirements and also the readme first. So you can see here you place your artwork image, whether it's JPEG or PNG, and then run the exe file. It will create it, cre create, it will create this same copy it would create a copy with the suffix of WM watermark. And then you can copy that watermark version and, you know, publish it, do whatever you want with it. And then, of course, important to keep in mind that you should always back up your file. You know, you never know what happens. So always keep a safe copy of whatever you're watermarking. All right, let's do the test. This is one of my recent work. Um, I took a screenshot of it. This is me creating Prince of Persia in virtual reality. And uh, if interested, there is a video that I posted on my channel. But uh, I'm going to zoom in here and you can see what it looks like. This was a screenshot from 
from a video that I took actually. So it's not the best image, but you can see here what the image looks like. So I'll make a copy, control C, go here, control V. Simple so far, all right? Watermark, double click. So for my antivirus, this gives me this um, message. It says, Microsoft Defender Smart Screen pre pre prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Running this app might put your PC at risk, but since I know Edit and I trust her and I know that this is actually, I, I know who created this, so I, I got nothing to worry about. More info and then run anyway. Once I click on this, then it's gonna run as if I just double clicked. So you might not see this message at all. You might see a different message, but now you understand one potential um, wall between you and achieving what you're trying to do here with the watermarking process. And then you go click on run anyway, and now it's processing it. I'll give it some time. Okay, so I kept the real time of the processing just so you would know that it takes some time. And then here is the watermarked version. Are you ready? Let's just compare the file size. It's slightly bigger from 686 kilobytes to 799. And this is the watermarked version. Well, what's the difference? Hmm. Let me zoom in. As you can see, it does not ruin the image for us. It's identical. The only thing is that it has that watermark that the AI is going to recognize. The way it changes its colors makes it in a way that doesn't really visually for humans affect the image. So edit, thanks for this. This is brilliant and this is marvelous. So I will post the link for Edit's Instagram profile so you can follow her if you wish and on Instagram and you can go to the link tree and get the information. I will also post a link for the link tree and I will also post, um, if interested, the, the link for this um, artwork that I made. It's kind of, it was kind of fun. Um, and if you need more information, let me know and I will add them to the description. So with that said, I hope you all have a wonderful day.